Right, hopefully we're live now. <coughs> Welcome everybody. Uh, if you can just let me know if you can hear me, uh, and uh, hopefully you'll hear the game at some point too. Uh, but it's not making any now any noise at the moment, so uh, you won't be able to hear the game. So that will be the correct volume if you can't hear it. <coughs> I'll let you know when it's making sound, and then you can confirm you can hear it. Okay, and we can adjust volume volumes uh, as we go. Welcome to National Train Day, folks. Okay, good afternoon, engineer. Today you'll be operating Northeast Regional 171 on route to Washington Union Station. You're scheduled to depart Baltimore at 15.32, so ensure the train is ready to leave at that time. However, do not depart until instructed by the conductor. The commuter train in front of you just reported a group of kids trespassing at the southern portal of the BMP tunnel. So stay vigilant and report any findings to CETC2 train dispatcher. Well, I almost said that. It almost made sense. Can you hear the train right? Let's go the other end, shall we? ACS 64. Hi! Yeah, let me know if anything needs turning up on the game audio. Why would we want to forget TS 2021 selling? Jeez. There are still great things to be had in TS 2021. Is this the route we'll get to Russia? No. We're at the exact opposite end of the route we'll get to Russia. This is the very southern end of the Northeast Corridor. We're in Washington. In fact, we're in Baltimore. So we're in Baltimore and we are heading down to Washington. This is the end of the Northeast Corridor uh, on the western side. So you know, you'd be talking a long, a long way up, up that way. Northeast Regional 171, ready to part to Baltimore. Proceed on signal indication. Right, sell us in. Let's get the brakes off. Our uh, cab signalling tells us we've got 20 limit. So let's uh, put a bit of power on. Right, remembering we have a 20 limit pulling out of um, the station here. Cruising along at 19.4. It will do. Could we maybe see some more Amtrak besides NEC? Potentially. Be nice. Right. Signals, uh, cab signal has just promoted us to 30. Are you going to have a rush hour q and I imagine at some point there'll be. Um, in fact, there'll probably be many streams where you can uh, ask questions. Keep an eye out on the forums. Um, quite often Sam or somebody will post a uh, ask your questions here so that they can be collated ahead of the stream. Don't just randomly go and ask questions though, because they'll just, they'll just be missed. Uh, wait until the appropriate threads are posted. Right, we're up to 30 kilometres now, now which is track speed and cab speed. Sorry, it's looking left like that because I'm looking at the chat. <laughs> Anthony, we're in kilometres per hour. Oh no, we're in miles per hour, we're in the States. We're in miles per hour.
Yeah, I'm going to do some Hudson Line tonight as well. Yeah, Tim, I'm using, I'm using track pad. Thank you, Selim. Got a little bit more speed on, just help us uh, speed up a little more. I do like chocolate. a little while ago <coughs> for testing purposes for another game <coughs> and uh, I'm enjoying using my job to be honest. Um, Roblox guy, it's not that the 313s take a long time to come out, it's that you were told them a long time in advance. That's one of the reasons that I think Sam is uh, changing things so that we tell you a lot closer to release. Because I think, as much as people say, tell us things as far in advance as possible, they also then get really frustrated because they want them sooner. I've not really had a drive on this route. I think the first time I've seen this route was on the launch stream. So this is, uh, I'm quite liking all the detail here with all of the, um, these um, bridge portals, tunnel portals, sorry. Uh, Robo TS has had track IR support for a long time, like six years. You do not observe the group of kids. Amtrak to dispatch Rover, go ahead. No sign of trespassers at the southern portal of BMP Tunnel or Fulton Interlocking. Copy, over and out. Why don't routes be as long as uh, in TS? Because they take longer to make. Bluntly, um, it's a more complex route in TS. Right, we've gone up to 45 miles an hour. Our next stop is in eight miles at uh, BWA Airport. Now at least we are good for 45. Track speed has gone up, camp speed has gone up. We can continue accelerating. Get 110 now. There we go, we've got 110. Speed up. Do you think you'll be able to allow third parties to make routes like in TS? Well, it depends what you mean, because there are already third parties making content in TS 810. I wonder if there's this myth going around that, um, that uh, Rivet are technically part of Dovetail, but in no way, shape, or form are they part of Dovetail. That's a skyhook. Speed limits dropped to 90. Six miles to go. Will you ever put Italian routes in trains in World 2? Whatever is a very long time. Anything's possible in the fullness of time. Is there anything on the roadmap right now? No. That's the only thing I can say with any degree of certainty at all. Can we get a tram route? I would love a tram route. What sort of tram routes would you like to see? I'd like a mixture, personally. I kind of like, sort of like, maybe like the Lewis in, in, in um, Dublin. 
and uh, something heritage like black or something like that would be quite cool. As to whether or not any of them are in production uh, or going to be, uh, back to my previous answer. Track speed's 125, camp speed is 125, we are dropping to 120, we are now on maximum power as well. Manchester Metro, yeah that's not a bad shot. Right. Drifton is dropping to 120, so we around 25 miles to BWI. Is that a train rail fan? I mean the Croydon Trambling, Callum. Yes, that would be interesting as well. Have you ever considered adding horns and bells to AI in TSW? Yeah, I'd love to. It's actually it's not as easy as it first sounds. I mean, the, the you know, the, uh, there are whistle markers in... Um, in TS 2021, which potentially could be used to trigger boards and bells, but that's entirely the wrong way of doing it. In America, you need to queue up the bells to do specific things. The whole Rule, rule 14 needs to be considered, um, and therefore, it, it, so it isn't just a case of just making it blow a horn. You've got to make it blow the white horn at the right time. It's a sequence of horns, all sorts of things like that. So, it's one of those questions that's just not as straightforward as it first come, uh, first sounds like. Would love to do it. What are we looking at here? Two and a half miles to get to BWA Airport. Speed limit is dropping to 90. Let's just bring the electric brakes back into play again to get it down to 90. It looks like it would help us with our stop in 1.9 miles. I'm not sure whether you're asking a question or making a request. This is indeed the ACS 64, Captain Cayman, yes. North Yorkshire Moors, I don't know whether that will happen, uh, uh, a third party developer tried to make that for Trains in 2021. Um, a long time ago, um, <clears throat> back when I looked after third party developers, and there was a licensing issue. And we couldn't get a license from the future walls, so that put paid to that project quite substantially. Now, whether that situation is different now, I don't know. Yeah, I know, Anthony. The brakes. This is my. F I, the brakes were. Uh, wow. Nowhere near as good as I was expecting. <laughs> I thought, oh, I don't want to put brakes on too early. I'll, I'll stop way too soon. And uh, then the brakes didn't happen. Would you ever do sub-service London Underground Lines? Anything is possible. No reason not to, Callum.
No, it was us that approached uh, Bluefield. We did all we did all the licensing work uh, on behalf of the uh, third party developer. Oh dear, what's next? New Carrollton. Get you there in about 15 minutes. Uh, Kieran, ping me a message on the forums. Yes, bad guy, it is more coffee, but it has a handle this time. And my laptop is closed. So... Bell must be wrong when making station stop. Uh, is that right? I don't. I have no idea about these things. You see, being a foreigner. Hey Michael Newbury, hey Valkyrie. Right, regular regular there. Yeah. Regional 171, okay to go. Okay. Check doors are closed. Yep. Let's get going. Cab speed's 120. Approaching a 110 now. For me, any idea what you should drive on TSW? You know, just trying to think. If I was going to fire up TSW right now, I would probably do something on Colin Uckham, possibly an ICE, just because of fancy a black or blast. BR 101, Cole Narkin. Or a bit of BR363 action loss, actually. Yeah, that's another good shout. How do you switch the AWS on the hydraulic bit? On 52, um, it's just down to your to your left-hand side, under the seat, essentially. Well, it's not under the seat, but it's it's quite difficult to get to. It's just seat. But if you basically turn nine, look 90 degrees to the left while you're sat down, and then look down as far as you can look down. There's two levers on, a, on a, either side of a unit down there. Um, and you turn both of those on, and that will turn it on. Speed Logic, I have no idea how the uh, QA guys uh, team have been getting on with the uh, new smoke box logo. No, no idea at all. Right, North Limits Bowie is 12 miles away. What is National Train Day? Is it something for the USA? Yes, Nigel, it's something that was initiated by uh, Amtrak. Uh, as Panda Jim just said up there, uh, Amtrak created National Train Day in 2008 
as a method of spreading information to the general public about rail traffic and the history of trains in the United States. I just like pause the chat out so like, while I'm looking while I'm looking over at the uh, chat, it's not waving the camera around like a flag. Truth is this NEC Washington Baltimore. It's Maryland area regional something. Uh, Callum, no, this is an ACF sixty-four. Branding and licensing, Morris, that's why. In that case, you'd either not have the trains at all, or you have them unbranded, because there's no possibility to get the branding. All right, so how are we doing here? 115, minutes 125, Maryland area of regional Are we going to get Northeast Corridor for trains in World 2? Um, the short answer is yes. Uh, the long answer is not the bit that you've got at the moment. Um, go and read the announcement details for the upcoming Rush Hour product uh, and you'll get more information on that. There's always the possibility for more um, underground routes uh, too. There's nothing on the plan at the moment though. Um, I want to be able to, before we do any more underground routes, though I want to be able to resolve the issues that make making underground timetables difficult, which affects the Baker Line. Um, Let's know about the safety systems. Which ones are there? So that beeping you just heard was the alert. So you just get a little yellow mark uh, indicator on the, the screen here, uh, and the beeping. Then the most of it is actually through um, uh, through this, which is telling me that I've got clear aspect and my maximum off-road speed is 125 miles per hour. Um, and then essentially, that's relaying what's going on outside. Uh, but also, it will then relay more detail through the system called ACCESS, ACSDS, the American Civil Speed and Enforcement System, I think it is, which is a positive train control system, meaning that it monitors actively what speed I'm doing versus what I'm allowed to do, and it takes over if I exceed the allowed speed, uh, and also does speed curves um, to slow you down and enforce that deceleration process. Um, so uh, you just basically follow what it says on the screen and, uh, and you're good. It's, it's a relatively straightforward system to find. Three rush hour routes looking forward to most all of them. They're, they're all really interesting in their own ways. They've all got cool things about them. I would want to get a pick a favourite uh, most of them. Why did I decide to work for Doctor? Well, I've been a, trains, a train fan myself for a long time. 
Um, I set up my own website called UK Train Sim, probably you may have heard of it, um, because I was a uh, big fan of train simulators uh, when Microsoft Train Sim first launched in 2001, I think it was, um, and uh, got involved in the modding community. I um, got involved in making some commercial content, working with uh, box release yeah, developers. Um, I haven't had in quite a lot of boxes really. It wasn't responsible for any of them, but I had a, a tinkering hand or a, an annoying hand when I had a look at it in, in multiple box releases. Um, and then um, at some point, I was offered the opportunity to come and do it for a living. So, <clears throat> can't really complain about that, I don't think. Uh, for those of you asking rush hour questions, um, hold off. Um, I'll wait for a rush hour stream. You observe two adult males trespassing on the right of Malpost 121. Dispatch over. Go ahead, 171 over. I just saw two trespassers at the northern limits of Bowie interlocking. They are standing in the gauge of number one track and appear to be adult males dressed in black. Will inform Amtrak police immediately? Thank you for the report. ACS are indeed seeing as products, yes. This ACS stands for the Amtrak Cities Sprinter. Uh, I think it's based on Siemens Euro Sprinter uh, products, like the uh, Taurus, for example. speed at the moment. Five miles to New Carrollton. Uh, you all see the map again? Sure thing. This is Baltimore and the line races down here. We're already down to here. And then this is Washington just here. Is there a tutorial for this? I don't know. I don't remember what the, I don't know what the situation is with tutorials in TS1. Well, I it is a Taurus with a false moustache. <laughs> When was the last time you actually worked on any content in TS1? Well, actively, would we be New York New Haven? I felt the signal in the cab signal for New York New Haven. I don't think I've done anything really since then, but it should be. Two miles to New Carrollton. I'm in a bit slower this time. The horn. Oh, I'm a bit quiet. Good with the train volume. Easier if I just turn the train volume down. How's that? Am I better now? Drop a minimum set on. F 
How do you fly faster with camera with immersive controller on? I don't know if you can, Samson. Oh, hello. Put it back in for this. Let's cut the dynamics off now. Okay, came in a bit too slow this time, but. Let's get the bell on. Minimum set on. You prefer the term leisurely? Yes. Full on moggy time. When I arrive would be exactly the right time to arrive. How far did we overshoot? Oh, look at that. That's not bad. That's not bad. I've done worse. I quite enjoy driving the ACS 64. It's good fun. Have you plans for the seller in TSW2? I'm sure it'll happen at some point, uh, Bruce. It's kind of... Uh, a must-have train, but uh, there's nothing on the roadmap for it yet. Regional 171, good to go. Quick check of the doors, they're closed. Let's get some goes going. Evening, Chris. Right, we are now bound for Washington Union Station, track 24. Let's just keep pouring the power on as we speed up. You can already toggle the blower motors uh, on most of the electric trains, Dinesh, on TSW. Um, don't know about compressor. Yeah, in fact, a lot of them you can turn things like the compressor off as well, actually. I don't think there will ever be one which models every single cap control because A, that would be an awful lot of work, and B, most people either wouldn't be able to drive it or um, they wouldn't use most of those extra functions. So it's kind of a waste. put that effort into getting more trains out. Davidoff, there's no news on the Ports Horizon, how are you doing? Alright, cab speed's 100. You've ridden on the street over you, Anthony. I know at some point I would like to, when I visit America, uh, I want to do like a, a tour of America because I want to see all of it. Um, you know, kind of a retirement plan and uh, riding on the NEC, riding on the Long Island, drive, riding out or going to Chicago, you know, got to do all of the things, haven't we, really? So going with Siemens for the Amtrak place. Makes sense, the Amtrak have been doing a lot, are leaning a lot on Siemens. Uh, what's my usual responsibility? So it's, it's these days, I mean, it's never been supposedly on creating content. 
um, that was more um, filling out gaps where there was, it was time needed. Um, if I need to, I help out on timetables. Um, but no, predominantly it's about feature design, product design, trying to work out how we solve the problems of production. You, know, make, you don't just make something by saying, right, we're going to make this, right, move on. The team, I'm working on that. Because problems come up and you've got to think, well, how are we going to solve this problem? And so, and they happen like every day. Um, testing stuff, feeding back on stuff, um, all sorts of things. Production is kind of, you know, the glue that ties everything together. I saw something re re recently which said produ production is kind of the, um, the unsung, the unsung, I won't call it hero, but without production, without the producers, nothing gets released, basically. Um, because developers, and I'll speak this as a developer, always want to make it better. The problem is that that attitude means that nothing ever gets released. <laughs> and if nothing ever gets released, then no one gets paid and everyone has to go and do something else for a living. Um, so, um, actually, the job with production is mostly to say no. <laughs> Which hurts my soul, bluntly. Um, a bit more power on. Are the PAS works on other routes from HHL to Australia's normal I'm not sure I follow the question, Bruce. Hey, Jonathan, how's it going? Right, there's no point taking it above 95. Might as well just kill the power. We'll be slowing down shortly. Well, okay. That's 100% done in the box. <clears throat> Got the race here, 64. How's the volume, folks? Got a couple of people saying they can't really hear me well. Is that the same with everybody? I think it might be loose coupling, Zed. Uh, you've no idea. You suppose Pi's AC64 has no in-cab signaling for upcoming speed reduction. That's because AM, AM, cab signaling is no replacement for needing to know your route. You should still, as an engineer, know your route and know what your uh, the, the upcoming track is about. Cab signaling is about enforcing the signals, um, temporary speed restrictions, and enforcing the um, signalled speed restrictions. Volume is fine. Excellent. Right, almost down to 80 to 45. Don't break the train now. I promise nothing. Uh, the Hamburg Dostos PS board should work on other routes, yeah, because they're the new dot matrix system as opposed to the old texture sheet system, so. Coming into Washington now, dropping the speed to 20. Why do we still have Train Sim World 2020, not 2021? Because Train Sim World 2021 is technically Train Sim World 2. Train Sim World 2020 is the previous one. Right, cab signaling has just dropped us to an approach aspect. Hello, Mr. Mark. So we're down to 30, but you've got to get down to 20 for the upcoming cam track signal change anyway. That didn't make sense, Royal Australian. I'm not quite sure how to say it then. Someone else have a go.
There is a TSW 2, Wild Australia. It's not in Game Pass, but there is a Train Sim World 2. That is the one that comes after Train Sim World 2020. But it's a different product. So there's no automatic upgrade or anything. It's a 1.1% drop, which is making it difficult. And if you play it, I don't know what the problem is then, Royal Australia. What is some of the fun stuff you've done internally to test some systems or just for the fun of it? Oh, I'm not sure. Huh. I'm not sure about it. I remember back at a lot in TS twenty well not TS twenty a long time before TS twenty twenty TSW this is back in TS one. Um, I did a we needed to tech a memory leak or something that would cause the controls to stop responding, but potentially after an unknown number of hours of playing. And so I wrote something using the rail driver interface that would just sit and drive a train for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours, and hours round and round a loop of track. <coughs> which was quite fun. It's not Metrolink down here, Jonathan, it's Mark, and there's no license for the Mark livery. Excellent work, secure the locomotive, and your shift will be completed. Hey, Richard, we're small, and how's it going? You having a good weekend? Well, we got a silver. We did all right, I guess. Sort of, maybe. Uh, right, one second. Doopy doopy doo. Let me find some Hudson Madness. I didn't fly to space today. Indeed, thank you, crazy. Uh, thank you, Anthony Pecoraro. Right, let me uh, find the other route. I'll be right with you. Okay, we are back. We're loading. Oh, sorry, no, this train simulator is not... I see what you mean, Wallace Train. You're, running, you're playing Train Sim World, yes. Um, train Simulator is not on console, correct. Sorry, I, I missed the, the, uh, the, the reference there. Right, we have an express run to Croton Harbour and today open the doors here and prepare for departure at 1.20pm. We have one intermediate stop at Yonkers. I love that name, Yonkers. I need to say that a few more times. Yonkers. Right. Got headlights. What can I break? Is there a chance for Train Simulator on console? No, uh, Train Sim World was developed because Train Simulator won't go to console. It, the code base is just too old. Well, it is an Amtrak themed stream, so here we are in New York Penn Station, and we're gonna head out through the um, the Empire uh, connection back over here, um, which will eventually take us up uh, to join the Hudson Line here around Spiten Deville, or whatever that's, however that's pronounced. Um, and uh, with our stop at Yonkers a little further up the line. Uh, for Jonathan, no, this is a Genesis. It's a P42 um, DC. Is it? Oh, no, it's P32 ACDM.
Yes, I'd like to get a Genesis into here, train some more too, totally chuck her down. Right, it's time to go. Just broke, blew everyone's ears to pieces blowing the horn over here. Of course, now I'm driving this. What I should do. Somewhere down here. I thought. I thought I had. Oh, I'll be with you in a minute, folks. Apparently, I don't. Well, that's that's a flaw. I thought I had a cab background for a P and a Genesis, but I don't. I need to fix that. Yeah, yeah, for it, this is P32 ACDM. Need a bit of power now for the climb. It's just a green screen uh, background uh, uh, demoniac. on the cab lights on. How's that? It's leveled out and climb a bit as we're coming out of the tunnel. No window swiping here? No. Wait, well, see, this is a dual mode J4V. It's actually it's running on third rail at the minute, which is going to be interesting because I can't remember how you switch it to being a uh, on it on switch it to diesel. <laughs> oh no, actually, it's not running on third rail at the moment, is it? No, it is. Yeah, it is diesel mode down there. Anyway. Does the power change automatically? Rock on. I'm down for that. Yeah, they're not allowed to bring diesels into Penn Station, except in exceptional circumstances. Cab signalling over here, telling us we've got a uh, normal clear aspect. now. Limited aspect note.
Does the entire route have third rail? No, it disappears shortly. Basically, once we're out of all of the uh, tunnels. If it hasn't already, actually. Yeah, I think the third rail's already gone. Hey Mark Tanner, how's it going? Oh, of course, the thing, so I think the third rail is kind of gone a lot of this bit, but definitely the Hudson line has all got third rail on it, up to Poughkeepsie, yeah. What is this scenario called? This is called P32ACDM number four Empire Service. Freeze the camera there so it's not waving around like a flag. Jack, I'm doing well, thank you. some trains off the Hudson line into Penn. Makes sense. The same as they're bringing Lear, uh, Long Island trains into Grand Central. I think that's due to open shortly, isn't it? Hey, Zaki on driver. My wife is watching a stream about the um, well, normal aspect now. But my wife is watching a stream about the uh, Chinese rocket re-entry. <laughs> Sixty them in now. Speed up. Chris, this is a P thirty two ACDM. The DM stands for dual mode, meaning third rail, electric, and diesel. Sixty six has both couplers. You can switch them over over at Aviation. N like mean that's cab signalling so N is normal aspect which means run run to line speed it's like a green light essentially think of N as a green light not quite the same because they don't really measure blocking the signals don't mean the same in they're not measuring how many blocks free you are um, it's not quite the same thing but NLMR normal limited medium and restricting restricting normally means stop or 15 20 miles now I think 20 miles now normally around the northeast corridor um, medium generally 30, limited generally 45. But there is a digital, an LED, a, a seven sec readment read out down here, which tells you what the speed is. So when it pops up out, it'll say 45 there. Another Empire train going the other way.
brakes, just drop the speed to 55. Yeah, medium is 30, limited is uh, 45, restricted is 20. Everywhere else in the US, fish restricted is 15, but on the NEC, it's 20. Almost finding some sunshine. Speed down to 45, got a limited aspect. Currently racing me to quote now, you don't. Yes. Still showing a limited aspect, so just hold it at the uh, 45 for now. Turn the bell off. Tis off now. David, this route came out. This route came out quite a while ago, actually. The Hudson Line. Still showing a limited aspect. Holding me back, man. It's holding me back. Well, go and enjoy open routes then, Luke. Big bridge with lights on it, look. I did look up the name of this bridge, but I can't remember what it is. I know we're too far north for the Verrazano Narrows Bridge. The George Washington Bridge thing. Crikey, what's this limited aspect all about? Go away, whatever's in front of me. Got restricting aspect. So this road, this journey just got a whole lot more fun.
uh, on this route if signal speed is 40 and line speed is 90 you always fall on the lowest so if your signal speed is 40 it doesn't matter if your line speed is higher That's, you are you are limited to the um, the slowest speed of the two It's a nice route. I like the variety in this route because you've got the um, Grand Central Terminal running the um, Hudson Line trains up that way. You can run the Harlem trains and the New Rochelle trains as far as here. Um, you can run freight down trains down from Croton um, across the uh, Oak Point Link via uh, Hunt, uh, Hunts Point, not Hunts Point, the um, what is it? Harlem River Yard where the trash facility is, into Oak Point and Hunts, uh, Hunts, Hunts Point is there as well. Um, and you've got the Sunnyside Yard, you've got Penn, the North East Corridor up as far as there. It's, there's just tons you can do on this route and obviously you've got the line up to Croton as well. Uh, Renfe, if you look at the last um, stream that uh, I did with Nat on uh, Thursday I think, we started it with the Lubeck trailer. What I say is my favourite American loco. Depends what purpose is. I mean, I, I like the ACS 64 as for like the electric loco. I like things like the GP38 for um, you know freight. But I don't really dislike any loco. I like all locos. They're all trains. Why would you not like? Yeah, I don't know what's going on with this dispatching signal. Crikey. Genesis is nice as well, yeah. I wonder if this is what's been waiting to get out of our way. What did I break? I didn't break anything. I'm just being held on a restricting aspect because the dispatcher hates me. Well, that just seems like they could have rerouted that road and not build all of that support. Mind you, I guess there's probably not enough there. All right, fair enough. I'll shut up. No, me either, Morris. Me either. Yeah, it's the scenic speed. <laughs> Add derailment? No, I'm not calm, quite simply. <clears throat> not at all, not interested. I'll tell you why. Put derailments in and all the real licensed brands go away. So if you want to play toy trains with no real brands on them, then have derailments. But if you want to drive real trains, you can't have derailments. diverging aspect there that should actually pop us up actually that looks like it's putting us back on a green aspect so we might get a normal I wonder if the signaling on this route is not being propagated down the track 
because I should be um, seeing that that's a um, a good aspect, and I wonder if it'll only trip as I go over it. Please do it for fun aspect. But 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 surely the fun is driving real trains. Yeah, we've gone up to a 45. It's literally just popped us up. TSW, you can derail if you go too fast. Looks like Signalman from Castle Douglas here yeah, is on holiday. We've got normal aspect now, so we are clear to run up to line speed. Accelerate, we've got a 45 limit because we've got crossovers coming up. Renfe, this is a gorgeous route because you're driving you're driving alongside as the you know it would as it would suggest, you're driving alongside the Hudson. Well, quite, God or not. They're, it's just, it's not what we're about. It's, we are not about crashing trains. We're about everybody learning how to drive them properly. M7A, Metro North. Uh, Formic signalling. Um, you program the signals as part of the route. And then the um, the signals are, you don't program them; you program them in a scenario. Sometimes there are additional assets. Some of the German um, creators have um, done some really cool stuff where you can place additional things down to make the signals change how they work. But that's not a standard feature of TS. Normally, you just set the signals up. You tell them all the routes they can get to, and any what ones give what aspects or what speed reductions, and so on and so forth. And then the um, the scenario, you just say go from here to here by this path, and the signals sort themselves out. It's pretty similar in TSW, except there's more configurability. That wasn't Leah, that was um, Hudson Line, um, Metro North, uh, David. An M7A, not an M7. Speaking of Metro North, this will be, uh, well, Shoreliners, is it? With a P32 ACDM Metro North? I don't think it was to add brakes and coupler damage. No, that wouldn't hurt licenses, I don't think. Um, that's just a, um, a standard sort of misbehaviour. The problem is, a lot of people, most people, won't drive a train properly. So, you need to then have a way of A, not having that feature, or making it less tolerant, oh, sorry, more tolerant of um, bad driving. Um, and then having it to where it's always recoverable, even if it's not in reality, because 
you get to the end of a two-hour scenario and you snap the, you, you break something and that's it, it's the end of the game. No one really enjoys that. That's just not fun. What you want is a bad penalty of some sort, like a big delay, um, and then uh, get back on your way again. So I love the idea. It's something that I've been wanting to do for a while. But got again, like all things, they've got to fit into the, 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 the wider category of the rest of the game. favorite American route. I like these New York ones. I mean, New York, New Haven was my favorite. This probably would be my next favorite um, for passenger stuff um, and for freight stuff. Dollar Pass has always been one that I quite like. What are the safety systems on this train? So it's got cab signaling, which is these indicators up here um, and it's got so this is just ATC um, and it's got the alert on it doesn't have any kind of um, PTC on it Missing on some side. That's odd, Johnny. Oh, the New Jersey Transit stuff. Actually, yeah, some of the um, the New Jersey Transit stuff is good fun. That's a good shout, actually. I do quite like the uh, the arrow is probably I do I really quite enjoy driving the arrow because it's a bit different. Uh, no no plans in a roadmap as far as I'm aware, Morris. I don't really follow what the um, the t the train sim one team are working on um, as much, but nothing I'm aware of. Getting there with a longer route time, I can't. It takes they take a lot longer to make in trains and world. All right, seventeen miles to Croton Harmon. Turn the bell off now, come on. <laughs> so. <clears throat> the 45 and the 46 are good to drive, yeah, Derek, uh, on the coastline. Down to Back Bay, is it? I quite like Morris Town, though.
Uh, I'm not sure, uh, Nigel. Looking good from the screenshots I saw when they put them out. Shoreliners. The variety of stock on this route is really interesting for Emirates. It's one of the things I like about it. You've got the Amtrak long haulers like this one. Um, you've got the um, P32 ACDMs from Metro North running with coaches and cab cars. You've got the M7As. You would have M3As as well on this route. Cane Creek is Skyhook, yes, I enjoy that. Yeah, just train simulator 2021 tonight, uh, Carlo. Yeah, the M8's run a New Haven line. I think it gives it away as their red, and the New Haven line is the red line. M7As and M3As run the Harlem and Hudson lines, which are the blue lines. Thank you, Chilim. Driving through the prison, yeah, that, that's uh, an interesting experience, isn't it? <laughs> you go, imagine what the planning arrangement was for that. Just how many forms had to be filled in and signed and countersigned. Laser Jet Long Island Railroad doesn't run along here, no. This is, well, it's Metro North that run up here, not other than Long Island, but it's all MTA, Metro Transit Authority. Um, but no, it's Metro North along these tracks. Lear, the yellow line, only runs up to Long Island, runs along Long Island. Currently, they don't even run into Grand Central, although that's changing. They're adding a, um, a link in, um, kind of up here somewhere, um, that will then come up there, cross round, and into there. It's all underground. Um, they're adding new deep platforms in at Grand Central.
this is a completely fresh install of the game I did last night, Big Mad Marine, so I wonder if maybe you just need to do a verify local files or something. Because certainly I've done nothing, literally I've, because I had to delete Train Sim completely off my machine because I ran out of disk space. And I reinstalled it on another disk now, last night, so that I could do the stream today. And, um, yeah, so what you're seeing is straight up vanilla install. Coming seven to limits. Oh, M7A. Pete's uh, 120. Why do you always showcase everything on PC? This game only exists on PC. Um, is why I'm running this on PC. But I do try and run the other TSW stuff on console. In fact, the first Hamburg Lubeck stream I did on console. Trying to do more on console. But no, this doesn't exist on console, so I can't do this on console, I'm afraid. Eight miles to Croton Harmon. Still got a normal aspect. So the shoreline are running down that way in an M7A. Meeting of the trains. I love what the team have done with this room, it's really good. Can you use an Xbox soon? Yes, I've got Xbox Series X, I've got Xbox One, Xbox X, Series X dev kit, I've got PS4 Pro, I've got them all here I can use. Well, the PS4 Pro wasn't running for a long time, I've got that working now. So, yes, I want to do more streams of TSW with the uh, console top. This would be Empire uh, 716, I think. Another Empire heading the other direction. One wrong move, boof. I wonder if there's a fence there in reality. Six miles to Croton. The offence isn't that good at stopping. No, this is true. Do you know how to quick shift from a locomotive to others on German keyboard layout? I'm not sure what you mean. Do you mean like changing cabs, like Control minus and Control plus? I don't know if that's different on a German keyboard. It's Control minus and Control plus to change between cabs in the loco that you're in. Lil Reeks Gaming, this is um, the uh, Hudson Line. Ah!
Oops, I missed the de missed the alert. It's back. We're speeding up again now. Oh, I'm not sure if Control Minus and Control Plus aren't working then, uh, Liv. How do you fly around the train like that? You press the 8 camera. So if I press 8, then I fly out. Use the cursor keys. So front, uh, use the shift key to speed up. Left key, right key, forward key, backward key. Uh, mouse to look around with the right mouse button down. And then if you want to go really fast, go up higher and it jumps you really fast. So you can use that to jump ahead of trains. I'm going to do one more after this, Nigel. I thought I'd, I, couldn't, I couldn't do an Amtrak stream without done hitting the accelerator. So we'll, do, we'll go back to the Washington line and we'll do the Ashella. That Ashella? The Ashella. A Jane Cat? What's a Jane Cat? Is that doing a, a, is that doing a, a Colonel Cam better? Oh, it's, it's prison time! Miles to Broken Harmon. Shall I? Yeah. <laughs> Gosh darn that bell. Right, last burst of speed before it starts blowing us down for Croton Harmon. We've been slowed down by cab signal. All right, drop to forty-five. It's a fabulous game on console. You have a P and you have a PC. What are the differences between Train Simulator and Train Sim World? Um, I'll assume that's what you mean. Just tell me if not. Um, train Simulator, you can't stand up and walk around, um, and it's built on a much much older game engine. Uh, but there's an awful lot more equipment for it than routes. Seven's following us in. Medium aspects. I have no idea about when the first Rush Hour streams will be Car Gamer. Keep an eye on the usual places for announcements. Make sure you're signed up for the newsletters, so on and so on. No one ever accused me of being a proper engineer, Dan. <laughs> this batter's just wanting the M7 to win, isn't it? It's unlikely they'll be animated, James, no. 
it was done right from the very beginning in TSW it was a core thing we wanted. Drop to 15. because the starter signal at the end of the platform is red. Any idea if we expect the stuff currently roadmap to come up before Rush Hour does? Um, you should expect whatever the roadmap streams tell you in terms of the, uh, other, the announcements do. I don't know the answer to that question. locking system the signals double red hey buddy look at the little train all the way down there that's us done for that one well we'll do one more before we call it a night one has to do some cellar. 902. Ooh, have I got the gold? Did I somehow manage a gold? Pink, pink, pink. Yes, we got the gold. Are you off, Anthony? Right, let me switch it to the pause, which is that one. And go back to Washington. In the other direction from uh, the journey we just did. This one's Baltimore to Washington. Washington, well, Washington to Baltimore, I think. Oh, I don't know. It's in one of the directions. Hey, Crystal Smith. Morning, engineer. Today you'll be operating a Seller Express 2158 en route to Baltimore Penn Station. You are scheduled to depart Washington at 0900, so ensure the train is ready to leave at that time. However, do not depart until instructed by the conductor. K Tower Dispatch has not issued any temporary speed restrictions, so your departure from Washington should be fairly routine. Open the doors to finalise boarding. It's tilt isolate. I don't think tilt is allowed on this part of the route. And cruise control on. on headlights are on ground lights are on fixed destination displays Croydon Bristol what Caucus, NYC Pen. Let's go with NYC Pen, shall we? Seller Express, NYC Pen. Good.
think we're all sorted to go. Twenty one fifty eight, ready to part washing to proceed on signal indication. I'm missing something crucial here, folks. Let's put it in forward. I do like the Acela. Mark over there. Incoming Acela. 2035. Currently on a 15 track speed limit, so if you've got two speed limits shown here, you follow the lowest. I'm not sure why the uh, red dot red dot isn't moving. All right, we've got 20 limit now. A clear aspect. Forty five limit. Declare the cruise control not functioning. Blow the horn. Alright, let's put the boot in 95 miles an hour. I do that all the time, Super Steve. Train dispatcher, this is 2050 over. There's a work crew between Landover and Carroll at mole post 128. Sound hall when approaching, starting at south limits, Landover. There's Landover.
125. I'm not aware of any link to the TGV, Ross. Although they did have ICE, they did experiment, Amtrak I think experimented with ICE. They had what, an ICE 2 set was it? They had over here on a trial. Who is it that makes the Acela or made the Acela? Mark in the other direction. It's Alston, was it? South Limits land over there we are. Let's drop to a hundred. This is two power cars, yeah. Two power cars with coaches in the middle. Send me to blow my horn, so I'm blowing my horn. Speed back up. There they are. It was an ICE one, was it? Okay. That's a reduction. But it's not showing up on camp signal. Hmm. Fascinating. BWI Airport, 20 miles. So that Jonathan Gatherall. Let's keep accelerating then if there's nothing re no reason not to. How do you mean Metro um, CPS? Do you mean the Mark stuff or the local um, suburban commuter stuff? Your cell is lovely, isn't it, Sifa? Oh, WMATA. I have no plans for us on my way.
ACS heading the other direction. Baggage car on the back. Thank you, Nigel. You're more than welcome. A roller coaster this through, isn't it? Up, down, up, down. Get some more speed on. Oh, we stopped at the station. Ah. Well, safety systems, uh, predominantly it's ATC and Access, uh, CIFA, uh, which is delivered through this panel here. Mondo, I'm honestly not I'm specifically hyped for any of the three routes. I'm, 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 I'm hyped for all three, I should say. Um, they're um, they're all really really fascinating. They all deliver something unique. Um, so uh, no, I'm uh, I am genuinely super hyped for all of them. Ten miles, you're halfway to BWI. <coughs> Montana High Line is something that I've, I've always wanted to put in because I've lo I love the look of the High Line. Um, sorry, not the High Line. I'm not thinking of the High Line. In Montana, it's the um, oh my word! I can't remember the name of it now. It's not the High Line. That's the BNSF route, isn't it? This long, straight, and flat. That I specifically don't like. <laughs> What's the one that I like? I can't remember it now. It's run. It's run by MRL, if I remember rightly. No, not Rice Pass. It's it's not running by the main operator. It's run by MRL. Helen Helen's Pass or something like that. Helen's Pass, is it? Yeah, I really like the Helen's Pass. Helena? Yeah, that makes that that rings a bell. No, these don't have the counter, see, for, as far as I'm aware. They've got the sort of somewhat simpler access displays.
rip score, yeah, really. No, it's not Pipestone Pass. Mullen Pass, that's the name I'm thinking of. Mullen Pass. Mullen Pass, that's the one. Yes, Wanda, yeah. I literally just Googled it at the same time you posted it. Helena is one of the yards, it's one of the terminal, one of the Ames ones. At one point, back when we did Feather River Canyon, it was gonna it was literally a toss up between Mullen Pass and Feather River Canyon and Mullen Pass lost because of the licensing problems. <laughs> Which weren't specifically a problem, it was just a lack of license. Whereas um, Feather River Canyon wasn't a problem. The only thing they're missing is time to penalty, CIFA, and um, the, um, the the engineer just has to put it into suppression braking, and they won't they won't have a problem. Same as on the P thirty two, is just driving. When it drops this speed, all I have to do is. Um, Put it into braking, uh, put it into suppression braking, and or uh, brake beyond a certain speed, uh, uh, deceleration rate, and the alarm goes away. Oh, Feather River Canyon is lovely. You know, that's what I said. It was two cracking routes, um, and uh, we ended up making Feather River. There was no, there was no loser there. There was both two good routes there. How long does it take on average to build routes for TSW two? I mean, if you average it out among the. Uh, the, the number of people that are on a route project, then it's probably a couple, three man years, person years, sorry. Have I been on this route in real life? No, I haven't. Um, I've been to America a few times, my wife is American, but I must admit I've not actually been to, um, um, I've been to Massachusetts, um, been to Boston, because that's where my wife's from, um, but um, haven't actually uh, been, been on any trains or, uh, I've seen, um, I've seen some sort of freight trains, Norfolk Southern trains down in Tennessee, but uh, never actually rid on, ridden on one. It does mean it's too fast for some seconds, see, for, uh, but as long as, your as long as your suppression braking is on, then um, the idea is that as soon as the speed limit changes, as long as your suppression braking is on, then you won't call, it won't cause a problem. And again, this isn't necessarily lining for you to. This isn't a replacement for the engineer knowing the speed on the track. They still need to know the line. So my wife and I fight over different words. Um, not anymore. I've given up. She'll never learn. <laughs> Spelling as well. She gets that wrong all the time. A bunch of extra U's where they shouldn't be, and Z's where they shouldn't be. <laughs> Uh, train station and railway station is you, there's much debate about that in, uh, in 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 the UK, let alone internationally. Oh yeah. Sorry, yes, I got that wrong. A bunch of use missing. Sorry, Wanda, I got that the wrong way around, didn't I? Man, I'm glad she can't hear me now. She'll be letting me. she be letting me have it.
he went New York to Washington a few years ago. Uh, so expensive on a fast train. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. Does the no unbranded content policy apply to first party content or TSW? Um, there's a strong preference to never have unbranded content. That doesn't mean it will never happen. It just means we will do everything we can to not have unbranded content. Uh, Sell at 21.58. Okay to go. Next station, Baltimore Pen, 10 miles. Do a tutorial on horn and bells. I could do. I'd have to go and read up on all the variations because, like, there's what's a standard in one place is not necessarily a standard anywhere else in the US. So I'd need to read up on all the different uh, various sub variations, particularly on things like bell. In some places they don't use the bell. Sometimes they do it even if they're not stopping. Sometimes they do it only if they're stopping. I get mixed messages. Just everybody telling me I'm wrong all the time, basically. <laughs> Right, speed limit's 110, full power. When are the UK drivers required to use the horn bell? Um, outside of normal hours and quiet, because I think it's, I can't remember what it is, but in the hours of darkness, they're not, they're not to use it at all and accept an emergency. Um, and during the day, you use a low horn only um, on a whistle board. I think it's similar rules for Germany. Again, they don't really blow the horns that much. Whereas the Americans like to um, dance a merry dance with their horns. Percussive instruments. Well, they used to use horn high, but they cut out a horn high um, as part of noise reduction for surrounding neighbourhoods. You know, that is a rule except for when does the, end, the driver decides that it's time to play the death march. You know, the... Um, um, Star Wars theme on their horn, obviously, in which case they do whatever they like. My five limit coming up. Yeah, we use a whistle when it's likely to be inside a depot because whistles won't cause problems with eardrums, whereas horns inside will. That's generally why a lot of trains um, uh, have got a depot whistle because they blow the horn inside the depot and uh, that's a bad thing, TM, whereas a, whist a whistle doesn't have the same problem. Well, that's just it, isn't it, Big Mad Marine? Every, every railroad is different and has different... Um, signal speed is 20.
Why does Clint Ferrara have whistle posts? I don't know the answer to that one, I'm afraid. What train am I driving, Bernard? I am driving an Acela. Off topic, do we have another LZB loco than ICE on standard service mode TSW2? I mean, there are other locos with LZB. The BR101 does. Um, the upcoming BR182 and BR112 in Hamburg Lübeck do. And I think the. Um, the rapid transit we are wanted to might be getting upgraded. Yeah, I'm on a 29 an hour um, speed restriction, Morris. I don't know why. Oh, it should be clear. I trust you. Thousands will. Oh yes, green light. But no more fast running now. I'll get it up to 75 and then we'll start breaking. It could be, oh, it could be. MTA, Bernard, um, you mean like the M7s, the M7As, all that stuff? TSW's got the M7s, and TS2021 has got the M7As. Oh, in service mode? Um, no, neither of those trains would use LZB in service mode. Uh, Cap it Although Rapid Transit 182 might. I don't know. Unstoppable is a fantastic film, Jim Frank. Which MTA, Bernard? MTA covers a bunch of different... Metro North and Long Island are both then part of MTA. I assume you mean New York MTA. I mean, MTA is much more like the Transit Authority. There's lots of MTAs. <laughs> M7 and M7A, very little, Ross. And predominantly the blue stripe versus the yellow stripe. Do you mean like subway type lines, that sort of thing, Bernard? I should have called it quite tricky to stop, yeah. <laughs> yeah, something like my Subway would be fun to do. No plans then. See you later, bad guy.
Are you using off the rails mode, uh, Emma? Make sure you switch it to off the rails, because even though it does, might not seem like it should be an off the rails thing, if it's not listed in a table of, of, of allowed, of, of sort of what, of low coast, then off the rails is what would need to be used to turn it on. slow approach the last one and a half miles almost feels like we're um, we're coming into uh, got restricting aspect up ahead almost feels like we're driving into Atlantic Terminal except we're not doing five miles an hour I know Morris torturous but like I said it's not five miles an hour so I'm thankful it's four times faster than the approach to Atlantic Terminal just so uh, just think we could be going to Atlantic Terminal I think that is the case, Cab Beppe. I don't know 100%. <clears throat> Oh, a view liner stuck in the middle there. Look. Tube fan. Do you mean in um, Unstoppable? It was an AC4400 CW. The lead, the lead loco, anyway. I think the one they drove might have been an SD40, but the uh, the runaway trains were um, AC4400s, if I remember rightly. Hey, Jamie, how's it going? I like this bit with the uh, the light popping through the little girders at the top there. Man, we've got 0.73 of a mile left, Bernard. You're enjoying Diesel Legends, are you, Kabepe? Excellent. Seven one six. Quick fact: Unstoppable was filmed on the Western New York and Pennsylvania Railroad. Railroad. Some parts being in North Eldridge and Emporium, Pennsylvania. There you go. Yeah, I can't understand why these are restricted either. It does seem odd. But good night, Nigel. Yeah, we're coming into Baltimore, Penn now. Not the end of the line in reality, no. Reality would carry on going to Boston. Well, 
This engineer would go to New York and then another engineer would take it north to Boston. I forgot to ring the bell, I know. I just realised that as I opened the doors. There you go, bell and wipers. Is that another engineer will take over from here? Why do a lot of stations end with Penn? Because the because of the Pennsylvania Railroad, they were the Pennsylvania Railroad owned stations. Hence New York Penn, Baltimore Penn. And I got a time limit penalty. Oh, there was me thinking I might end with a positive score. Never mind. Right, folks, thanks very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed a little little bit of National Train Day uh, fun with some Amtrak trains. Um, thanks very much for watching. Next stream probably be. I actually don't know. I'm going to go with Monday or Tuesday. One of the two. Um, and uh, yes, take care. Have a great rest of the weekend. Cheers, everybody. Bye-bye.